Hey everyone, it's that time of year again. Milwaukee has announced their 2023 pipeline event is August 8th. So naturally, I went and took a look at the patent office filings to see what they've been working on. The first one up I am super excited about, an M12 router. This is a quarter inch router. It's kind of a competitor to the Bosch 12 volt, except this one is going to have variable speed. There are both macro and micro depth adjustment gauges on this. It's got a belt drive that's offset from the motor, uh, so the spindle geometry can be really compact, and it's got a wide base, so it's good for roundovers. The next one I know a ton of you have asked for, an M12 fuel jigsaw. They're finally updating the M12 jigsaw design. This one's got a barrel grip with a very compact footprint. It's got a non-marking base, and most of the patent is about the base that has storage space for two jigsaw blades in it. It looks like it's gonna have at least two orbital settings with the ability to turn the orbital action off. A few years ago, Milwaukee came out with a M12 rivet tool. Now they're coming out with a riv nut tool. So this is a very similar design to the M12 rivet gun, except once you thread the fastener on manually and place it in the pilot, this tool will actually screw the mandrel all the way into the riv nut, then pull it and set it, and then you can back it out again using the tool. This next one, I'm not sure if it's M12 or M18. It doesn't really specify a battery voltage, but it is a rotary laser system. So this covers both the rotary laser and the receiver that's gonna be able to pick it up for longer distances when you can't see the beam anymore. So it looks like Milwaukee's continuing to invest in developing their laser technology. This is gonna be a great outdoor addition to their already pretty comprehensive laser lineup. All right, moving on to M18 tools. This one is an M18 modular chainsaw. So it looks a lot like their top handle design. They've just got a couple locating pins and a hex drive on this, and you can hook up a ton of different bar styles, uh, thin bars, some 90 degree angle bars, just a whole bunch of different options to use on this chainsaw. Next up, we've got an M18 X2 Packout Dust Extractor. So this is Packout compatible. You can put your stack on top of it. It's got auto filter clean using a solenoid valve system, uh, and it's got options for AC or DC. It's got a separate motor for each of them. So it's a true hybrid dust extractor system. Uh, and I think it's got a lot to offer looking at what this patent covers. This next one, a bunch of you have already asked for in the comments section on previous years. This is an M18 air hammer. And I don't know if it's really an air hammer, if it's cordless, but you get the idea. They've got a couple different configurations shown in this one on where they're gonna put the motor relative to everything else. And I think they're just covering their bases to make sure a competitor doesn't make a similar one. But this one, I think they're probably gonna keep it pretty slim on top so it's not too much bigger than a pneumatic one. This next tool was part of the M12 pivoting rover patent, but they also showed an M18 version that's super compact, basically slides onto the top of an M18 battery and turns that battery into a light. It pivots up and you can rotate it so you can point it directly where you're working. Now this next one, Milwaukee isn't one to shy away from very specialty tools. This is a windshield glass removal system. It's got a vacuum pump that will attach the unit to the windshield and then it pulls with the cable to cut adhesive uh, with its own integrated motor. It's also got a remote so you can operate it from the opposite side of the glass that you have it installed on. In this patent, they've got a complete system outlined for glass removal because they've got a hot knife that looks like it attaches to the M12 soldering iron, and they've also got an M18 body saw or scraper for adhesive removal. It's been a few years since Milwaukee released their M18 framing nailers. Now it looks like they're going to tackle an M18 duplex nailer. So they've just got a bunch of different designs on how this magazine is going to work and handle the duplex nails. And it's, it's got a little bit different controls because the controls are in front of the pistol grip instead of behind it like the standard M18 framing nailers right now. But this is something that they're working on. Milwaukee has also been working on M18 angle grinder improvements. Here they've outlined a toolless accessory removal system that looks a lot like Bosch's X-Lock, but this one's got a handle that opens up like the M18 multi-tool does to relieve tension on the accessory. They've also got a separate patent for a smart grinder that's going to be aimed at workplace safety. It's got two separate handles, a paddle switch, and the auxiliary handle has a sensor in it that lets you know you've got it held with two hands and it won't start without it. It's also got a option for an eddy current sensor that can detect if the guard is installed or not. 
In this same patent, Milwaukee also mentions drop and kickback detection built into the tool. So it looks like they're aiming at a workplace safety angle grinder that kind of covers all of the bases. Another specialized M18 tool that they filed a patent on is an M18 stud shear. So we saw a stud punch a couple years ago for going through metal studs. They still haven't come out with that one, but maybe they're working on a complete lineup here. This one has the option for several different size studs, being able to slide them in from the end and then just press a button and shear them off where you need them. Uh, the only downside I see to this one is you actually have to slide it all the way down the stud to get to where you wanna cut. M18 and M12 aren't the only tool platforms Milwaukee is working on. They filed a patent for the Red Lithium USB tools with a huge expansion to the lineup. So in this, they've got a bunch of pictures comparing the M12 tool size to this new Red Lithium USB tool size. And they've got a USB ratchet, screwdriver, hacksaw, rotary tool, drill, impact driver, power cutter, wire strippers, nut runner, powered quick clamps, and powered pliers? All of them kind of make sense except for that last one. I don't know what they're thinking, but it's in the patent. Milwaukee has also focused a ton on packout patents. They've got a wide ranging patent that has a bunch of existing stuff that's already been released and then a bunch of other ideas that we haven't seen yet. They've got a crazy backpack strap mount so you can just mount a packout box on your back. They've got cord wrap accessories, shelf brackets to go on the wall system, a work tray that will clip onto the top of your packout stack, tool belts that can take pack out cleats a lot like the clip tech system that Tough Built has. Uh, they've got a vise that goes on the top of a pack out stack, trailer hitch mounts so you can put a whole variety of pack out boxes on the back of your truck's trailer mount. And then they've got a water cooler pack out that you can dispense water directly from. There's a separate patent for a pack out work cart with pack out cleats all over this thing to mount accessories, maybe the tool belt clips on. It's got pack out compatible mounting points underneath the work surface so you can put a pack out box under that, maybe even a drawer system under that. There are mounting spots for wire spools on this so it looks like they might be targeting low voltage install guys or maybe electricians and a single point kickstand so you can lock the wheels down without having it rolling away. They've also got a patent for work tables that are packout compatible. These range from ones that fold up into little briefcase size things that go straight on the packout stack to one that's its own hand truck that unfolds into a work table. They've also got a lot of options that look very similar to Festool's MFT. Uh, and then they've got an option where you can join a bunch of these together to make a massive work surface and then it all breaks down. You can wheel it away on a packout stack. Last year I covered a packout solar charger setup and it looked like it was a fairly small solar charger and you couldn't really do much with it. This time Milwaukee has filed a patent for a solar charger system that unfolds with the size of these massive solar panels. I'm betting that's around 500 to 600 watt output. You can also attach some of these systems together. You can charge your M18 batteries directly with it. With the integrated charge controller, it looks like Milwaukee's setting up for a true cordless job site if you're in a remote area and working without power. Milwaukee has also been working a lot on fans. There's a packout fan patent. This one goes straight in the packout stack and it swivels out and you can aim it wherever you want. So you can just wheel the packout stack up to where you're working and aim a fan right where you are and keep cool. In addition to that, Milwaukee has filed a patent for a pedestal fan that looks like it goes on the top of the M18 rocket light platform and you just got a fan up on top of there. It says it can move up to 1200 CFM in the specs for 85 minutes runtime. Another kind of crazy patent Milwaukee has filed for fans is a motion tracking fan. On this one you wear basically what looks like a Milwaukee one key tick on your wrist or something similar and it can the unit can pick up where you're at and aim the fan at you so no matter where you're working in a room it will keep you cool. After all these crazy fan patents, they've got, they kind of step back and they've got what looks like an M18 drum fan that looks, with the, with the renderings here, like they might be pretty far on the design. So they have a somewhat normal fan patent and then out of the blue at the back of this patent, they've got a picture of what looks like a Boston Dynamics robot dog spot with a fan built into it that's got to follow you around. I don't know how much those things cost, but it's a lot more than just buying a room full of fans. They've also got a drone that's gonna follow you around, <laughs> that can't get annoying or hazardous at all, with a fan on it to keep you cool. 
So back to reality, Milwaukee's also working on wireless charging for their heated gear. So they've got a couple different options on how they're gonna do this. They're proposing having like a, a something that you stick on a hanger and plug it into the wall, and then when you hang up your jacket, it starts automatically charging the battery in it. And they've also got an option for having a a secondary charging coil in the pocket, so when you put your phone in there, it can charge your phone as well. Now, a lot of you spend a lot of time driving around in work trucks, and Milwaukee's thought of a solution for keeping you charged up while you're in your truck. It goes in the seat of your pants. <laughs> I don't know who thought that was a good idea. In addition to heated gear, Milwaukee came out with heated gloves a couple years ago. Now they're looking at heated socks as well. So that's one option, and it's gonna have also possibly heated insoles with a remote that, so you can start them and stop them without having to take off your shoes. Now for anyone who's worn M12 heated gear, you know that when you sit down in a vehicle, a lot of the times you'll get jabbed in the kidney by the M12 battery just because of it's a, a little bit bulky and where it's placed. Milwaukee's thought of a solution for this. They've come up with a pivoting design for the M12 battery that will fold flat when you've got it in your heated gear, and then you can fold it up and stick it into your M12 tool and use it just fine. This looks like it might be a little flimsy on the hinge design. We'll have to see if it's actually sturdy and holds up in real use if they decide to come out with it. So that's all I've got. Hopefully you're excited about some of these. I'd love to know in the comments section what you think about these patents or if there's something that I missed that you're really hoping to see at Pipeline this year. So thanks for watching, and remember, these are just patents. It's completely possible they never come out with any of these, but it is a good indication they've thought about it and they've put some engineering effort into it.